the advantages and disadvantages of using either blocks or precast labs in your biodigester installation. There are new installers or people who want to install biodigesters, homeowners, and they want to know what's the difference and what are the advantages of using either one of these two. So in this video, I'm going to just give you a few understandings from my experience of using both of these methods of installing biodigesters. The background to blocks is that it works best when you are new to this biodigester business. And then as an installer, you are looking for a way whereby you maximize your effort. So what is available is what you use. So blog is readily available and it's easy to use. They know this mindset of using blogs in construction. So if you are new to this technology, then your obvious choice will be to use the blogs. And then that's why most of us started using blogs. But then blocks have a bit of advantage when it comes to digesters, mainly in certain areas or certain conditions or in certain situations. The soil type that we are going to meet will determine the type of materials that you should use. If you go to a place and or it's waterlogged, it's clay, and the water does actually take a long time before you can seep into the ground or the earth surface, then your best bet is to use the prairie dust blocks. The experience is coming from the father. If you go to a salty place, if you use precast slabs, then a time will come it to just crack it and it to break it or it will just affect the shape and size of the digester. So then it's best to use blocks in such situation. It's also blocks are also important when you are doing your work in a waterlogged area where there is going to be a lot of water in the ground. Probably there's going to be a lot of water also in the soak hole, which is going to take a lot of time for it before it goes away. So then that's where the idea of using blocks actually comes in handy. Now mainly from my experience, those who do the blog works or those who use the blog works are the new installers who are also not that good at the business and are learning and then certain situations are supposed to use blog. So in my situation, if I travel outside Accra in the regions, Edia Kumasi, Akradi, Cape Coast or wherever I'm working and then I can't get the precast labs, they are readily use blocks in those areas. So if I travel outside Accra, then my best bet is to use the blocks. But if I'm in Accra and then I'm not meeting any clear situation and i'm not meeting any of those conditions that will, will not work well for the slabs then i will use the blocks now come to think of it if you are an installer and you're in this business your business model should be based on the fact that well, how many digesters can you install in a week let's not even talk about day in a week or in a month so if your business mindset is that or you have jobs and you are supposed to do and you're using blocks then you have to cast the top slab you have to wait two or three days for it to dry and then you also have to lay your blocks and wait for it to be firm enough before you can do the inside bed and then laying of the filtration materials and other stuff and then you have to take the top cover and cover it before you can go so mostly that one will take you two or three days before it's done but if you are using the slabs just within a day or less than four or five hours time you have finished your digesters and then you are gone so basically that's the advantage when it comes to the precast slabs some people have also argued and some people have come to me saying that you do not trust the slabs because then they think that the slabs are not going to last well but if a slab is done well i've done a video of how to cast precast slabs i'm going to leave the link at the top there you can go have a look at it and see how to cast a precast slab if it's done well it must contain a wire mesh it must have the cutter rods or iron rod in it the three eight possibly it must have all the ingredients and you must use curry dust and of course only cement to have it cast that way it becomes firm and then it should be two inches or maybe two and a half inches and you are not going to have any problems when you do that. The only problem is if, if it's not installed well and there are some holes around it and then water is seeping through. But and the idea of biodigesters is that you are not going to, you should not allow water to be retained in the digester. If you are using precast slabs, it shouldn't be a problem. Unless, like I said earlier, the place is salty and then with time, it might just affect the size and shape of the biodigester or the slabs. Apart from that, slabs work best. They work well in all situations and it's not going to be a problem. So in my estimation, precast slabs works best one when you are an installer and two if you require a small space to install a biodigester. In some cases, we've gone to houses whereby it's a half plot or it's a full plot, but the owner wants to maximize the land. So they give you three feet at the back of the house and then they ask if you can do a biodigester there. In that situation, if you are using that space, then obviously blocks will not work in that situation. That's where the breaker slabs come in handy. So the other truth is that the thin nature of breaker slabs do not make them less strong than blocks. If you done well, breaker slabs that contain your query dust, your wire mesh, your binding wire, and then your cutter rod or 38 
iron rods will work as well as a block that has been used in biodigester installation. The advantages of both slabs and blocks are not that much different. In any situation, it can be used. I've used slabs in commercial jobs, I've used slabs in domestic works, and I've used blocks in commercial works, and I've used blocks in domestic work, and I do not see any difference between them. Subscribe to this channel if you are new here and watch the subsequent videos that we have. The next video coming up will explain to you why you must consider biodigester installation for your next toilet wastewater management issue.